Hello Lethal Nation, Wayne here, Lethal Injection Outdoors. Getting ready to cut up a big old Hartford County, Maryland dough and put her inside the Orion cooler. Figured to take a good time to show you guys a few tips on how I like to get the hide off, get it quartered up and inside the Orion. If you're not doing it the way I am, you probably should watch this video because you're probably doing it wrong. Just kidding folks. There's a lot of ways to do this. There's a ton of ways to get the hide off. Sometimes we hang them upside down. Sometimes we hang them right side up. But the basic functions of what I'm going to do with this knife to show you how to do it is how I like to take the hide off and quarter them into the cooler. First thing I like to do is take the legs off. As you can see, I already got this one off. You do not need any special tools. I'm going to use the Raptor razor here, but you can do the same thing and I'll show you on one of the back legs with a pocket knife, just like that. So all you need to do is find this joint right here, which I already started to do. And Kind of take your knife, work it around that joint, separate it down in there. And as you do, as you can see, that joint separates right off of there. And you can take your knife, stick it right up inside there. I'll show you that as well. It's a little easier to see. And kind of just get right up inside there and get that leg off that easy. Next thing, while we're up the front here, as you can see in this, cut where I came down through here there's not a bunch of hair hanging off the deer hide if you cut up along the hair you're gonna cut all these little pieces of hair so if you cut down the way I did on this one I came down into it if you do that you're gonna get you'll see here as I'm cutting you're not getting all that hair flying into the meat as I'm separating that off of there so it works a lot better you don't get all that hair in your meat, as you can see on this side, and it's a lot cleaner of a process. Now you can still pick all the hair off as you go, but that's the first tip, taking off the front legs. All right, now we're down here, we're gonna pull the bottom legs off. Same deal, you find that joint, and you can kinda of get, just work the knife right up inside of there. Kinda of just separate right at that joint and as you see kind of just there you go pop it and just keep now both legs are off the bottom you got the legs off the top now like I said the more hair you can cut this way the way it grows the less hair you're gonna have on your meat to got to see us take the hide off in the elapsed time portion of the video. Is it elapsed or lapsed? Well, you got to see us take the hide off in the portion of the video where it takes pictures and kind of goes really fast and looks cool. Now I'm going to show you how to get from this to that. So as you can see, the back straps out, front shoulder is off and the hind quarter is off. Very easy, very easy. Same pocket knife. Some of you might say, I wouldn't use the same knife that I skinned it with. Well, you know what? This is an instructional video. Ew. Here's the deal. Kind of just go in here. There is no joint that holds the front shoulder on a deer. If you don't know that, study some deer anatomy. But if you look, you kind of just work it. And work it. And you can get that whole thing off. Right like that. Now, when you're putting it in a cooler, quartered up, as I like to call it, don't mess with none of this real thin skin. That's a protectant. It's almost like its own nature's Reynolds wrap on here. Same way with this. So you can even fold this little flat portion in. It's going to protect your meat even more. When you put deer meat in a cooler, do not submerge it in water. 
either freeze jugs, solid blocks, put it in the bottom. If you use bagged ice, put a barrier in between the meat and the ice and open the drain on your cooler. That way if any ice does melt, it gets out. You don't want your meat laying in water. That's a definite. Do not lay your meat in water. And don't put your meat in trash bags. There's a lot of guys will take it, put it in trash bags. My problem with trash bags is you don't know what kind of facility those trash bags are made in. They're not food grade material. They're not food grade plastic. So you're putting your meat in some kind of cancer causing carcinogenic trash bag. Put it in a Ziploc bag, or even if you lay some freezer paper or something in there as a barrier, but the meat will protect itself if you do not submerge it in the water. Now, let's drop down here to the bottom. I'm gonna try to lift it up. But same basic principle, but inside this bottom portion, is a joint right here. As you can see, there's a little ball that fits in this socket. And as you work this inner portion, it's gonna be a little hard for me to do holding it and explain it. But as you work this inner portion here off, and the more you do this, the better you're gonna get. But you can see it separating. And what will happen is you kind of just follow that around trying to keep it open for you guys so you can see what the deal is but just follow that around if I miss any meat because I'm trying to teach and then there we go we can kind of just pull to the back side here and work out right on down there here's the other thing if you miss any meat in any of these processes take get a two gallon one gallon freezer bag there's our hind quarter same way protecting on there nature 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 Throw that in the cooler. Now, one last portion, the best of the best. But as I was saying, if you, if you leave some meat down here or any of this meat, you can go back and cut the meat out of the ribs. The possibilities are endless with as far as you want to go with this and how you want to utilize it. But you could take freezer bag and trim off all this little excess pieces, put them in a freezer bag, and when you grind it up, you can have some grinder, you can cut it in some cubes or things like that. But now, what I'm doing right now is I'm removing this outer portion of this fat that's on this deer. Early season deer, you're not going to see that as you are with the late season deer. So, working that off, and I'm exposing the most beautiful piece of meat in the world right now. So, you kind of just get that out of your way and work it all up through there. I'm going to trim this off. That was where it was shot, kind of coagulated blood. Any of that you can trim up as you go. You don't want that in there. So if you look, the back straps right here. Now you can pretty much get these things out with just working your fingers. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this knife and I'm just going to run it right down the spine and start up high. It's kind of where it comes in here. It's real thin up that portion. But you just kind of work the knife right down in the inside of there. Kind of go along those rib bones, work it, work it, work it, all the way back to where that rump joint was. And there's a, it's a little bone right there that you can actually feel. You can kind of come out right there. So just keep working that out. And as you get it to start peeling down here, You'll notice once you cut that free, as you can see, I'm cutting it free right there. It'll just kind of start coming out on its own, and you just work your blade in there and just kind of let it kind of right around there, and it'll just you can almost just work it right out of those ribs and right into your hand. Now, when I put my back straps in a cooler, I usually like to take to two and a half gallon bags or a nice gallon bag, put the back straps in the bag and then put them in the cooler just it protects them a little bit more. Now you can take this back strap and you can roast it whole. You can do a lot of things with it, but I'm separating it right here from the bottom. You can do a lot of things with these back straps, you cut it into steaks. The one thing when you do go inside to start processing it, you want to get all this silver skin here off of that meat because it's it's nasty that's what the 
Indians actually use to make bowstrings. They use this sinew here. That a lot of times you can just pull it out with your hand. I don't want to mess with it right now because like I said right now, it's working as a protectant. It's going to protect that meat while it's aging in the cooler until I'm ready to process it and then wrap it up. But there you go. We're to the point where we have the back straps out, front shoulders, rear shoulders. Now you can go back, you can make a neck roast out of this. You could take some of the meat off, like I said. I'm not gonna do it on camera right now, but we're gonna go back and pull some of that meat out. Any of this extra meat you see, that can all be used as ground. You can put it in a freezer bag, put it in your cooler, close it up and let it age. And then when you're ready, use that meat to grind up. But as you can see in this fat hanging here, we got to pick pretty clean. So, hope you enjoyed the video. This is Wayne, Lethal Injection Outdoors. That's how you get lethal.